Hey guys, like I promised, so this is the tutorial on how you guys can set up a Apache NiFi on the Linux box. And I'm gonna do one for Windows as well. So first what you're gonna do, you're gonna punch in this uh, URL. I'm gonna send it in the documentation al along with the video. Actually, not that one, this one. All right, once you get to the page, go to the download. Click on the um, NiFi 1.3 zip. As you can see, you can have uh, you have the toolkit, and then you also have the full binary. Copy the URL. It's like I showed you guys in uh, today's uh, short meeting. Create uh, an area on your on your machine if you're on Linux just follow the steps where you create a file it's preferable not to be in the temp but for this demonstration I put it in temp once you download the binary you can also download the toolkit using the same uh, procedures using the widget download it for Windows Actually, just one second because I think I've downloaded twice. Yeah, this is what you actually need. I downloaded the toolkit twice. <laughs> Sorry. Remove the extra one. And there you go. Hopefully, your network is as fast as ours. You see, I can download with almost 100 megs a second. That's pretty fast. All right, great. Once you have it downloaded, we need to unzip it. All right. This will create a location called NiFi and slash version. You can actually rename it if you don't want the version. Once you're in the inside the location, go to the conf. Uh, what you want to do before make a copy of the NiFi properties before you make any changes, just for best practices, and create one with dot all. Now we can play around with the, the original one in case something goes wrong. We know we can go back to the previous one. What I want to do here, I want to change the port so we won't be that obvious. But this is your choice. I prefer not leaving it 8080 because that's the web server access. Probably in your case, it won't make a difference. But we don't want to have any, let's say, uh, ports requests that are blocked or whatever. Going back to the main path file and we're going to go to the bin directory and use the nifi.sh with a dot and a backslash which uh, pretty much tells it uh, that it's an executable in Linux and with the option, st with the option start we're going to initiate the service of nifi. I can mention you guys if you want to keep a little an eye on the status of the service you just go to the logs and check the NiFi app log which it's uh, which references the web server or the application that runs the NiFi in the background just not really important but the web server that is running NiFi it's called um, Jetty, not that relevant. <laughs> All right, so this should be ready to go. You can use it using on your local machine. Using if you install it on your local machine, use the one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one in the port. All right. And voila, we have it set up. 
and this is the empty canvas as you guys can see it's good to get familiar with the items on the canvas it's pretty straightforward there's not a lot of options this is a processor so let's let's make a simple example and we're gonna get a generate workflow generic workflow is the most basic uh, component in NiFi it's pretty much gonna generate the flow file because at the base of it Apache NiFi it's a flow based uh, arc, uh, system and it requires a flow as a payload we're gonna put the directory here as a uh, we're going to give it a temp that nifi folder and like i said to you guys what's the conflict resolution strategy we're going to ask him to replace and we want him to create a new folder then link both together i know before yeah, so link both together on the relation success we're not going to make mix this thing you know so right now we can see that the they're all good to go we're going to generate the flow file actually this is going to generate a bunch of flow files and uh, if we go back to our operational system and we go to the location where we stole them we see the folder it's already created and it's getting quite big <laughs> because he's generating flow files at the speed of light let's say pretty much as fast as he can we're gonna stop the processor as you can see here we got 56,506 we're gonna stop it and we're gonna go back to the file and we're gonna see how many files we have here so let's take a size this is pretty much uh, two megabytes in size and uh, let's see how many files we have here using the um, ls command and then wc slash l we counted and we see we got 56,506 all right so after you guys install this one if you prefer to do it on linux i'll show you how to do it in windows in the next video